Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to Nerd Gadget. Today we're going to talk about this product that would allow you to monitor, receive alerts even on the go, and also reports regarding the temperature or humidity in specific rooms in your home. All at a budget. And I'll be jumping right in right after this. Before I jump in, if you like this content, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and also share it out. Now, if you want to continue to receive content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscribe and the notification bell button. That way you can always stay informed whenever I post new content on my channel. Let me go ahead and highlight some of the key features of this product. All right, it's a remote and multi-space temperature and humidity monitoring system, okay? Um, you get free data storage and you can also export monitor temperature and humidity in real time, all right? And it also covers 24 seven. So that's pretty cool. And again, when you do the export, it comes out in a CSV and it's for free. Right, yeah, you have to download a free app to have access to all the reportings and the access the controls of this system. It also works with Echo. I don't wanna say the A word, but it also works with the Echoes and you can control the room temperature indoor via the commands, such as asking, you know who, what's the humidity of the wine cabinet, you know? So you can ask simple things like that and it can let you know what the actual status of the temperature or the humidity in that room. The alerts are immediate. You can always adjust how those alerts are uh, sent to your device, depending on the presets you have set for it. And you can also adjust the temperatures so of when you will be alerted or the amount of humidity. So expand the coverage for indoors and outdoors. All right, so you're not just stuck with indoors. So all in all, I definitely think that this is packed with a lot of features. It can cover the entire home. It also states here, open air transmission range to 1700 feet or 500 meters. All right, ensure a stable signal, providing timely data, perfect for monitoring large units or multi-level homes. All right, so again, pretty nice. It states here, it does require two AAA batteries all right, so let's keep that in mind. So with that stated, let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. It's already ripped here. I did that by mistake while opening the actual box this came in. Um, but you can see here, this is by the Xsense company. All right, you can see the model number there. Take a look with here. All right, it states there, free data storage and exports, 2.4 gigahertz network, high accuracy and sensitivity. All right, so with that stated, let's go ahead and open up this bad boy. Let's start off with the manual. Should be straightforward as far as setting this up. Base station. Compact size. All right. You got micro USB. And it also comes with the linear, so you can go ahead and hang this up, as you can see here. Last but not least, type A to micro USB and power plug. All right. So according to the instructions, we need to go ahead and download the app. You can just go ahead. Uh, depending if you have iOS or Android, you would choose the appropriate one to install in your mobile device. I'm gonna be using the iPhone. Yep, that's what you would do there. Go ahead and tap that and then install. Open the app. Allow for notifications. Yep, allow here. 
And then if you have an account with Xsense, you will go ahead and sign in. If not, you can go ahead and create the account. Now I need to go ahead and get this plugged in so we can get this synced in and connected. As you can see, that's been completed. I'm going to tap next. And it tells you to press and hold on the button that's on the back for five seconds. All right, so I'm gonna press and hold it. All right, so that should be about five seconds there. Tap next. And then tap OK here. So it's gonna prompt you to type in your Wi-Fi credentials for your 2.4 gigahertz network. Wi-Fi connected. And once you put that password in, you should hear these prompts here, or announcements, I shouldn't call them prompts, but you should hear these announcements. So it's stated connected to Wi-Fi, and now it says, uh, the last thing it said is Wi-Fi connected, and as you can see here, it has been added. Tap finish, and you can read that information there. All right, I won't go over the whole thing. And then you can tap save. And that's that. Next, we need to add the three thermo hygrometers. All right. Now I need to install the batteries in here first before I can go ahead and get those installed. So let's go ahead and do that. Just want to point out that when you open this, right, you put your nail here, and really, I don't have nails, but when you do, yes, you can probably get a screwdriver too, but let's say you don't have one available right away. Just put your finger here just to get it cracked, and come to the side, pull a little bit, come over here, do the same thing, put your nail here, and that should open it. Just pulling it from here may be difficult because your hand will be in the way, but locking it from opening. So once you get it open here, Pry it on this side, pry it on this side a little bit, and it should come right up. All right, so tap here. Yep. You can change the room or whatnot, but I'm gonna leave it as default. Hit next. All right, it's just telling you how to put the batteries in. Next, now that I have the batteries in here, Let's see what it says next. Let's quickly press the button twice. When the LED indicator flashes blue, tap next. Let's see here. All right, tap next. And then now it's waiting to be connected. Let's give it a few moments here. Ready to add a device. Device added. All right, so that's one down, and pretty much do the same thing for the other high grow meters, all right? Once that's done, go ahead and place the back on this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this hung up, all right? So you have that option. Now, once you're done adding the three high grow meters, all right, you'll go ahead and tap finish. And there you have it. So I have one connected. I didn't add the other two. But right away you can see where it states the temperature and the humidity. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, now let's see here. If I tap here, you can get a report on the hour. Let's go to settings. And in here you can change your thresholds pretty much. You can change them here. You can change your alerts. So you have all those different options. All right, so all in all, pretty nice. And right, so I'm scrolling down here. You can do calibration, all right, notifications. You have your different triggers and alerts that you can set there. Let's go back. But what I want to do here is do a device test. All right, so let's go ahead and test. It 
see what happens. Let's see here. Uh, sound settings. You have the different tones you can test with. Let's see. As you can see, this is quite loud and it's not all the way on max. And again here you can set max temperature for an alert. You can set the minimum temperature for alert. Same thing with the humidity. Right now by default this is what it's set to. But you can always adjust that so that you can get alerted when it's past or below the threshold. Now you may be wondering, why would I need this if I already have a smart thermostat such as a Nest. Well, I'll tell you this, the Nest will give you a broad idea on what the temperature is in the house, but it will not alert you if it reaches a certain threshold, meaning temperature wise or humidity wise. All right, now we all know that every room in the house does not share the same temperature. Let me not say does not, but a lot of cases all the rooms in the house will not share the same temperature. So again, it just gives you a broad idea when you look at the app or look on the Nest or Smart Thermostat. It just tells you a broad idea what the temperature is. Whereas if you place one of these hygrometers in a certain room, it will tell you the actual temperature and it will give you the humidity. So if you have a child, a pet, or maybe an elderly that's in that room and that's one of the cooler or warmer rooms in the home this will let you know and you'll be able to monitor it and again if the humidity is too much you can also monitor that as well because we all know if there's too much humidity in a home that can cause mold buildup which can introduce other health issues which will obviously not be good so for the price of this product i definitely think it's a winner I definitely think that this will be a good asset to have in the home. Now, if you're interested in the Accent Smart Therometer Hygrometer with Base Station, then make sure you go to the description of this video and find a the link there. Until next time, I will catch you later.